Hi everyone, this is Tarni from 2nd year BTEC IT. In this presentation, I am going to explain about avial trees in data structure. First, what do you mean by trees? Tree is a hierarchical data structure which stores the information naturally in the form of hierarchy style. It is a non-linear data structure. It represents the node connected by edges. Now we know what is trees. Finally, coming to the point, what is the need of avial tree? It is observed that binary search tree worst case performance is closer to linear search algorithm. So a need arises to balance out the existing binary search tree. The binary search tree, which is unbalanced, undergoes some operations to get converted into balanced binary tree. So such trees are converted into AVL trees. Now what is mean by AVL tree? Named after their inventor Adelson, Welsky and Landis, AVL trees are self-balancing binary search tree. It checks the height of left and right subtree and assures that the difference is not more than 1, that is either minus 1, 0 or 1. This is known as balance factor. Balance factor equals height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. How to find the height of the binary tree? Height is the longest path from the root node to any leaf node. In this the height is 2, in this the height is 4. Now we know what is balance factor. In this case, the balance factor of each node is 0, so it is considered to be balanced. Whereas, in this case, the balance factor of 3 is 2, so it is not balanced. Let's see an example for AVL and non-AVL tree. In AVL tree, the balance factor is balanced, whereas in non-AVL tree, the balance factor is not balanced, so it is considered to be non-AVL tree. AVL rotations. To balance itself, an AVL tree may perform the following four kinds of rotations. AVL left rotation. If a tree becomes unbalanced when a node is inserted into a right subtree of the right subtree, that is the right right case, then we perform a single left rotation. For example, we are taking the insertion order as 1, 2 and 3. First, we are inserting 1 as a root node. Then we are inserting 2 as a right subtree of 1. Still now the tree is balanced. The tree becomes unbalanced after inserting the node 3. In this case, the tree is imbalanced because the balance factor of 1 is minus 2. So we are performing the left rotation. While performing the left rotation, 1 becomes the left subtree of 2. Now the tree is balanced because the balance factor of each node is 0. AVL right rotation. A tree may become unbalanced if a node is inserted in the left subtree of the left subtree, that is the left left case. The tree needs a single right rotation. For example, the insertion order is 3, 2, 1. First, we are inserting 3 as a root node, then we are inserting 2 as a left subtree of 3. Still now the tree is balanced. The node become unbalanced after inserting the node 1. In this case, the tree is imbalanced because the balance factor of 3 is 2. So we are performing the right rotation. While performing the right rotation, 3 becomes the right subtree of 2. Now the tree is balanced because the balance factor of each node is 0. Left right rotation. The insertion order is 3, 1 and 2. If a node has been inserted into a right subtree of the left subtree, this makes 3 an unbalanced node. The node become imbalanced after inserting node 2. A left rotation need to be applied. However, a single rotation will not give us the required result. Now, all we have to do is apply the right rotation as we have seen before to achieve a balanced tree. In this case, there is a need for AVL tree to perform left right rotation. First, perform the left rotation on the left subtree of 3. This makes 1 the left subtree of 2 and 2 the left subtree of 3. The node is inserted in the left subtree of the left subtree, that is left left case. So, a right rotation need to be performed. While right rotation is performed, 3 becomes the right subtree of 2. Now, the tree is balanced because the balance factor of each node is 0. Right left rotation, it is a combination of right rotation followed by left rotation. For example, let's take the insertion order as 1, 3 and 2. 
if a node has been inserted into the left subtree of the right subtree, this makes one unbalanced node. The node becomes imbalanced after inserting the node 2. So a right rotation need to be performed. However, a single rotation will not give us the required result. So all we have to do is apply the left rotation as we have seen before. In this case, there is a need for variable tree to perform a right left rotation. Now the tree is unbalanced. So first perform the right rotation on the right subtree of 1. This makes 3 the right subtree of 2 and 2 the right subtree of 1. Still now it is unbalanced because the balance factor of 1 is minus 2. That is right right case. So I need to perform a left rotation. While performing the left rotation, 1 becomes the left subtree of 2. Now the tree is balanced because the balance factor of each node is 0. Insertion. Insert an element in the AVL tree in the same way as we insert in binary search tree. What are the rules to remember while inserting an element in the AVL tree? No need to check the balance factor of every node. Check the balance factor of only those nodes that lies on the path from the newly inserted node to the root node. If it is imbalanced, then there exists one particular node. By balancing it, the entire tree becomes automatically balanced. How to find the particular node? The first incarnate imbalanced node needs to be balanced. To balance that, count three nodes in the direction of the leaf node. Then use the concept of AVL tree rotation to rebalance the tree. This is how insertion occurs in AVL tree. Let's see an example for insertion in AVL tree. The insertion order is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay, first we are inserting 1. Now the tree is balanced. Then we are inserting 2. 2 is greater than 1. So 2 becomes the right subtree of 1. Still now the tree is balanced. Now we are inserting 3. 3 is greater than 2. So 3 becomes the right subtree of 2. Now the tree is imbalanced because the balance factor of 1 is minus 2 that is a right right case so you need arises to perform the left rotation left rotation need to be performed while performing the left rotation 1 becomes the left subtree of 2 now the tree is balanced because the balance factor of each node is 0 so the tree is balanced now we are inserting 4 4 is greater than 3 so it becomes the right subtree of 3 Still now the tree continues to be balanced. While we are inserting 5, the tree became imbalanced because the balance factor of 3 and 2 is minus 2. So it is imbalanced. The first encountered imbalanced node is 3. So we have to count 3 nodes in the direction of the leaf node as we have seen earlier in the rules. So we are taking 3, 4 and 5. These in count, we have to perform the left rotation because it is right right case. While performing left rotation, 3 becomes the left subtree of 4 and this entire 4 becomes the right subtree of 2. Now the tree is balanced because the balance factor of each node is either 0 or minus 1. While inserting 6, the tree becomes imbalanced because the balance factor of 2 is minus 2. So count 3 nodes in the direction of the leaf node that is 2, 4 and 5 right right case so a left rotation need to be performed while performing left rotation 2 becomes the left subtree of 4 and 3 becomes the right child of 2 now it is balanced because the balance factor is either 0 or minus 1 then while inserting 7 okay again it becomes imbalanced the first encountered imbalance node is minus 2 so count 3 node in the direction of the leaf node that is 5 6 and 7 same right right case so we have to perform the left rotation while performing left rotation 5 becomes the left subtree of 6 and 6 becomes the right subtree of 4 now tree became balanced because the balance factor of each node is 0 then 8 is inserted 8 is greater than 7 so it becomes the right subtree of 7 finally the tree is balanced this is how insertion occurs in AVL tree Finally, coming to the applications, AVL trees are used for frequent insertion. Thank you.